Tech X Media. We are at Jitex Global 2025, and I have with me right now Mr. Jeff Jacob, Regional Sales Lead, Commercial at Asus Middle East and Africa Region. Let's welcome Mr. Jeff on Tech X Media. Hi, Jeff. Once Hi. again, welcome on Tech X Media. Thank you. It's a it's a pleasure being here. Uh, so, Jeff, uh, we are at Jitex Global 2025. Uh, we know that customer feedback is always important. So, what strategy or products Asus is showcasing this this year, which is based on customers' feedback from Middle East and Africa region? I wouldn't put it as uh, Middle East and Africa alone. We have we are a global company, so we've got uh, offices worldwide and we've got customer base worldwide. So we take feedback from across the world. So let's say let's look at it differently. Like we we've taken feedback from customers. What we've realized is. Everybody wants high-end compute, but they don't know what to do with it. Some of them, they, they purchase a lot of hardware and they do not know how to utilize it. Even in the case of the trendy word AI, people tend to spend a lot of money. Big enterprises, they spend like AI transformation. Uh, they want to go AI-centric. We are an AI-centric company and stuff. And they spend a lot of money on hardware, but they don't realize that there has to be software, there has to be ecosystem uh, around it, right? So, in order to have use case scenario, so today everybody says AI, but generally there is no use case scenarios which end customers are able to touch and feel. So that way, we have aligned with multiple partners in the region, even ISVs. And uh, recently, we we've had partnership with one of the sovereign AI uh, entities in the UAE, and they're offering AI use cases on their platform to government entities and to private uh, enterprises. So we we pro obviously provide our, because that is our expertise and that is our strength. So we provide uh, the hardware part of it, along with our um, ecosystem partners, like in storage and uh, cooling solutions. Yeah, so so we provide like a one-stop shop now. So when you when you said what, what have we got for our customers, we've got product portfolio, which is starting from uh, client compute, uh, from the edge to the cloud. So we cover the whole spectrum now. So Jeff, with all of this digital transformation happening, enterprises are now very quickly uh, transforming their device setup. So what do you think is a challenge that organizations still overlook and because of the, that, they still face challenges? Well, I, I can probably tell you a story. It's, uh, it's about my son. He was majorly into coding and stuff. And then this chat GPT explosion started and he said, uh, Dad, I was totally into coding and stuff. Tomorrow, all these jobs are going to be taken by chat GPT. Uh, so that's a question which rang my mind. I, I, I told him, no, uh, you have to be somebody who's going to be a, a good user of AI, probably master AI rather than fearing it. So that's what probably end customers and enterprise customers should realize. Um, you know, a lot of the workforce will be replaced by AI. I mean, simple things like customer service agents, uh, I don't tellers at the, at, at the in the banks. All these jobs are going to be redundant. Even the even the cab driver will be redundant. But then, instead of you know thinking about that, people should not fear AI. AI is going to be a tool. Uh, which mankind has to master. So people sh should probably look in that direction. Enterprises also. Uh, but it's, it's, it's the fear of the new thing coming, which has always been there. That's human. To fear everything what comes. When the bullock cart guy was happy with it, and then when the automobile came, he said, man, my job's gone. Then that didn't stop man from you know evolving. So that's how enterprises should look at it. They should adopt AI freely. I mean, solutions like Copilot, Microsoft offers uh, for their customers. You know, it's, it's it's really a beautiful tool. Today, I mean, there are people who send me emails who could not say a few sentences. I mean, today they use Copilot. <laughs> they, and they send mails as if like a CEO is sending you. Yeah, I mean, it's about how you use AI and companies should try to adopt AI into their uh, operation, in every aspect of their operation. I mean, there are solutions out there from software companies. Uh, I don't know, HR, finance, you name it. Every aspect of, a, of an organization can be covered with a little bit of AI. And it, and 
efficiency goes up. I mean, it's proven by by a large extent. Yeah. Very well said. Uh, so we talked about AI. With with this AI transformation, how are you helping organization manage workloads on their NVIDIA platforms? Okay, NVIDIA is our premier partner when it comes to AI. And AI and NVIDIA go hand in hand. Uh, there was a time when there was only a select few, let's say, brands who used to get the access to the you know the NVIDIA platform, right? A select few uh, PC companies and server. server manufacturers but today we are at the top tier now so what happens is when there is a launch of a new platform from nvidia we are also called to the party like before so example tomorrow uh, we are launching the uh, nvidia calls it the spark which is like the ai supercomputer the miniature one uh, so we we call it the asus accent which comes with the gb10 and uh, we are launching it globally tomorrow so and then we have the gb300 platform raised black well which is liquid pool so we're ready for along with nvidia uh, for their customers i mean obviously nvidia tries to sell their hardware at a possible but uh, when it comes to scale they depend on oems like us so yes uh, our partnership with nvidia goes back a long way uh, on the consumer side uh, we are well known for our gpu cards so yes our nvidia partnership is very strong together with uh, partnerships with AMD and Intel. Uh, so, uh, can you please tell me that what is the biggest strength of Asus products for its uh, uh, customers and partners here? Well, um, like I said earlier, like Asus, we, we, we cover the portfolio right from the edge to the cloud. Uh, we've got state-of-the-art laptops. We were always known as a good laptop uh, brand. Uh, uh, together with being the number one motherboard company in the world. Uh, we've also brought that expertise into our server portfolio. So you name it, we have it. And uh, together with our ecosystem partners, uh, we we kind of address all the needs of the enterprise customers in the region. Today. Interesting. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Jay. Yeah, pleasure. Thank you After for having After Computex, we uh, met now and it was great discussion. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for watching.